I gotta hand it to Mario, this guy can seemingly do it all. Whether it's rescuing the princess again and again, uh, kart racing, fighting off the Covenant, uh, he really excels at no matter what he tries. Uh, and apparently this includes soccer, because we have here Super Mario Strikers on the GameCube. This is a fun, fast-paced, arcade-style sports game. Uh, it might lack a little bit of depth in terms of game modes, uh, but its core gameplay is really solid, kind of like a classic arcade game that, you know, maybe you don't play it every day, but it's something you'll want to revisit again and again. And of course, you don't have to just play as Mario, there's many of your favorite characters to choose from. What the? Ah, why do they zoom in on it? Alright, that's enough of that. If you've never seen or played this game before, you can tell it's pretty much non-stop action. In fact, the only break in gameplay comes when you score. Uh, there's no offsides or penalties or anything like that. And there's no throw-ins or corner kicks either, due to the electrical barrier or fence that surrounds the action. Uh, this keeps the ball in play at all times, and is also good for uh, hitting your opponent into and shocking them. When you start a game, you have to choose your team captain and sidekicks. The captain could be Mario, Luigi, or any of the characters I showed you before. And the sidekicks you have to pick from Toad, Hammer Brothers, uh, Birdos, or Koopas. During the match, uh, the captain and the sidekicks uh, play the same except for one thing. The captain has the ability to do a super strike, which is a special kind of shot that if you time it right, is unstoppable and gets you two points instead of the usual one. You'll notice here I'm playing against the Super Team, which is the one unlockable character set in the game. Uh, it's a team of all robots whose advantage is that any one of them, not just the team captain, can do a Super Strike. Super Mario Strikers is a good game to just pick up and play. The controls are easy to learn, but contain all the things you'd expect in a soccer game. Uh, passing and shooting with lob variations on each. Uh, slide tackle. You uh, can hit the Y button or use the C stick to deke. And there's a turbo button, which allows you to run a little faster, but you lose a little bit of maneuverability. You can do a one-timer shot by pressing B to shoot while a pass is on its way to you. And this combined with a perfect pass is a pretty powerful attack. A perfect pass is done by uh, passing the ball to a player that's opened near the net. In fact, you'll usually hear the player call out to you to let you know that he, he's open. If you've pulled it off correctly, the trail of the ball on this perfect pass glows green, and the game goes into slow motion. <laughs> While on defense, you can do what the game calls a big hit, which is basically just a full body check on your opponent. 
Uh, it'll send them flying, and if he or she has the ball, it will dislodge it. Of course, a huge part of the game are the power-ups. Some of them will enhance your abilities, like the speed boost, or the star that will make you invincible, uh, but most are weapons. Uh, these include uh, the freeze shell, uh, homing shell, banana peels, and the rare but awesome chain chomp. You're awarded a power-up by charging your shot. Uh, you can also get a power-up if your opponent hits a member of your team who doesn't have the ball. Uh, this brings a little strategy into play, because you can only hold two power-ups at once. So you have to decide, is it worth uh, putting a big hit on your opponent when they don't have the ball? If they got full power-ups, eh, you might as well go for it. But if they don't have any power-ups, you got to uh, consider, is it worth uh, awarding them one just to put a big hit on them? Uh, in some situations, it might not be. Of course, being a Mario game, you know Bowser's going to make an appearance, and he does show up occasionally, uh, just to cause chaos. The game modes you have are basically Grudge Match, which are single matches, and then Cup Battles and Super Cup Battles, which are tournaments. Uh, if you're able to complete the Cup Battles and Super Cup Battles, you unlock new stadiums and also new cheats, like uh, Field Tilt or Infinite Power-Ups. There's also trophies for things like how many matches you've played in Cup Battles, how many goals you've scored in Cup Battles, and achieving gold level in these will unlock new power-ups. Overall, I think Super Mario Strikers is a ton of fun to play. I can see that some people might wish there were more game modes or perhaps a larger selection of characters to choose from, uh, but I'm not bothered by that. I just have a blast playing the game. But a word of advice? Stay away from Toad. Toad.